Hey guys, welcome back to another episode on the far side server. <laughs> I'm gonna start doing my intros like that. I kind of like it, like doing, you know, just so it's just like epic. <laughs> Anyways, so we uh ooh, we got this done. Let's let's go a little ride. One, two, three, and then we come out right here. So. I'm gonna make, you know, I don't know what I want to do. I'm kind of thinking what I'll actually end up doing here. I haven't decided yet. Is maybe I'll make like, you know, I don't know. I want something that that does something that will block this off. And I think I have enough room down there to where, like, I can have something come out, push this, push this block right here. Um, I was gonna do that block and then just keep that, but I can't with that redstone right there. So I think maybe if I can do something where this block right here gets pushed out. Um, what what I'm actually like, what's what what I thought in my head was this one, right? This one can be pushed out, go right there, and then this one will go go right here. So then it'll be whatever, and uh, so then when I press that button on the bottom I'll have a signal come straight up here that extracts this one back into there and then the one that will be right here will be extracted to this spot right here so then this will open up right as I come up and then when I land up here I'll drop down and then it will push itself back sort of thing beyond like a little timer system um so yeah I got that completed now let's uh let's go ahead and fill this one spot back in so that will be a later project um but yeah, I guess so. I got the elevator going. Like I said, it's just a timing system sort of thing. Uh, yeah, if you guys didn't know that, um, right? So you got you got the space bar that that lessens your jump, right? But you also got uh, if you're oops moved. But if you're bouncing low and you hit shift, it just totally stops you. So let's say right, you, you if you're just holding shift as you go down, it's just like hitting rock bottom. So that's a that's a little thing I didn't know until I started making this thing. Um, but there's a couple things that we can do here too. Um, as we go up, we can put obsidian going up. I haven't decided how I want to decorate this yet. I kind of want to decorate this going up and like it to look kind of spirally like and stuff. But uh, I haven't fully decided. But there at least needs to be non-movable blocks right here and right there. Which I'm thinking obsidian will just do. Um, and then same with, I think, right there and right there. Which I ran into that problem when I was making it. That uh, this top one was moving. I was like, why are you not moving? Nope. Wrong spot. You need to go up one. You need to go up one, my friend. My little friend, you need to go right there. Um, and same with... We could put one right there. You know what? Just for the the ease of it to look good we're going to um and then i think i'll put uh how about yeah so i can we can also go up then and i should be able to put stone right like that i think i think that should be good i don't think that'll cause any issues um is there redstone or something right here nope okay so I have the stone, whoa, but there's right there. Where's that redstone torch? Oh, uh, there's supposed to be redstone. Why is there redstone? Oh, there's right there, okay. Oh, uh, you know what? There's supposed to, um, is there supposed to be a redstone torch right there? No. I think this still works. I think I'm good. <laughs> We're going to leave that open real quick and give it a quick test drive. Um, so there's that redstone torch. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah. Um, yeah, there you go. Okay, let's give this a test drive. See if it still works. One, two, three. Okay. Still works. Perfect. Um, so let's go back up and fill, <laughs> fill that in again. God, it's the idiot. He's such an idiot. Okay, so we're going to have the redstone. I, I put that there just so... Um, I knew there's different sections of this thing, and I just want to know what section was what. Um, so I think we're good now. We are good with that. 
right? Yeah, so we can... We'll just leave that obsidian there. There we go. Perfect. And... Yeah! Boom! Ah! Um... How are we doing on armor? Armor's doing good. We, uh... I had a plan. I had a thought of something I was gonna do, and now I forgot it. Um, what was it? What the heck was it? Huh. I, I really can't remember. I was gonna do something. I was. Let's let's think about it. So one of the things that I wanted to do today was <laughs> Tortimer the Great built this behemoth of a thing. I mean it's tiny. It's not like it's big. Um, but it's a stable slash horse cell breeder area thing. Um, and I figured I'd come by and grab one because I do want to start. I I've mentioned before in the past that I've wanted to, you know, have a horse around spawn to ride around here and whatnot, and so. We're going to go ahead and grab ourselves one of these spots. We're going to go right here across from Tortimer. Um, grab that one. And we are going to say this is... No, that looks weird. What should we do? Um, spaces. Does that, does that look cool? Two. Does that look... No, one. One. Does that look cool? That looks like eyeballs. Let's uh, let's just do a bunch of equal signs. That works. <laughs> Cluster noble steed. I hope that's how you spell steed, like a uh, horse steed. Uh, we don't got any horse yet. We don't got any horse. We don't got a horse yet. So uh, yeah, that's just gonna have to stay there. Um, are gonna have to be empty. And I think this is where he's gonna be like uh, breeding the horses and stuff. This obviously isn't done yet up here, but. Uh, once that gets done, maybe we'll buy a horse from him if we if we haven't gone and got one yet. Um, there was also uh, a purchase I wanted to make, and guess what? Guess who that's gonna be with? Not Tortimer. Ha! <laughs> Not Tortimer. It's gonna be uh, um another clay order, and uh, you know what? Sirens just bought a license from these guys not too long ago, and you know what? He was too lazy to do the math to see what, uh, cause they had a they had a maximum of eight stacks or whatever, per order. He was too lazy to do the math of what that came out to. He was like, five or what? F how many was five twelve? So five twelve is, is eight stacks, and you had to take eight times six, and then blah blah, blah is forty eight, and then you give him forty eight iron, right? Well, Sirens was lazy and said, well, I don't know what five twelve is, so give me ten stacks, and that's sixty iron, right? Wrong. Wrong. Right? Wrong. Because then that's 640 whatever clay. So, Wumbo, look at, look at, look at, right here, right here. Ready? Ready? Right there. 10 stacks. Searance. 10 stacks. I've been. So, you know what we're going to do today? We're going to do order made. Order made. Is that what I usually do? Yep. Order made. Cluster. Ready for this? Ready for this? Ten stacks. Oh, can't do that. Uh, we'll do. We'll do the ten stacks hardened. Ten stacks hardened clay cluster. Look at guys, we did it. We did it. We said we want ten stacks. You know what? If Sirens, if Sirens can do ten stacks, and we've been a faithful, you know, a faithful. Uh, Per, uh, employee, not employee, but, uh, what are they called? Shopper, customer, we should be able to do 10 too. So, there we go. Ha! Uh, <laughs> ha ha ha. If you really want, you know what, and I even told Mumbo, I said, you know what? He did 10, I've always been doing 8, I've been keeping to the rules. I said, I, I deserve a free 2 stacks. And he said, yeah, we'll see about that. And he, I never got my free 2 stacks. Because I thought, I thought I've put in orders. And this new guy, Searance, comes along and just puts in orders like whatever he wants. So, there you go. Ten stacks. I want ten stacks. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Now I'm, now I'm pumped. Just pumped. <laughs> Anyways. So, we, uh, you know, I should put I should have put in two orders is what I should have done. But I won't. Um, I got, uh, something I want to build that I need a lot of clay for. And I'm just going to start collecting it. So, uh. But I want to start also incorporating clay out of my base. I uh, have some stuff I want to really get building there. So we're going to head back over there, I think. Right? 
Yeah. Sure. Yeah. And look at Ender Pearls, man. And this snapshot Ender Pearls look really weird. So guys, this is a a little bit inspired by the new update that kind of came out, you know, with the underwater mobs and everything that now is available um in the underwater fortresses. I uh, I kind of thought it'd be kind of cool um to kind of give this like sort of like an an not ancient. Um maybe ancient rustic sort of feel where you know, I was looking at some stuff online and I saw some pretty cool stuff of things in the swamps like from old like old ruins and stuff where they're built into like little swamps like this and then um you know i'm gonna have like little pat like i see these pictures with like things that have pathways underneath here and stuff to where i'm gonna do that sort of thing like in this area um you know where i'll have some sort of connecting path that goes all the way across and i've been i've been using i bought some mossy cobble from a tort and stuff um that I'm gonna use here, but this is just gonna be like a, I, I don't even know how to say it, but it's just gonna be a little, I don't even know what it's gonna be yet, <laughs> to be honest with you, maybe it'll be my enchantment room, it's kind of what I was thinking, because it's gonna be kind of like ancient and old sort of thing, and I just think, when I think of enchanting, that's what I think of, um, and so it's gonna be made out of smooth stone and mossy cobble, so at the bottom, I have a lot of, uh, if we go on, we go up here you can see on the bottom layer I have a lot of mossy stuff which the bottom is gonna be more mossy and then I'll get less mossy as we get up and I'll go I'll get vines and stuff and put vines on this thing too but um, my thought on it is it's closer to the water so there's gonna be more you know moisture and more moss growing near the bottom obviously than at the top so that's my thought on it and this will go all the way to the bottom eventually uh, I just haven't got to that point yet um, so yeah, that's kind of going to be my one of my first builds here. I I hope it turns out like good. I you know I'm really thinking it's not going to because <laughs> like Tortimer said I'm or like Siren said I'm a great builder, um. But I don't know. I guess we'll see. It might not be a big enough area for the type of build I'm thinking. But why is that squid killing himself? Oh, he's alive now. <laughs> but um. So yeah, that's what we got going. So I'm going to be working on this. Uh, and hopefully, uh, if you guys got any suggestions for it, let me know. Because yeah, I kind of need some help sometimes when it comes to this. But what I'm thinking is, is that I would build this to be about three high. Each layer to be about three high. So I'd go about right here. And then I'd go back one. And then have this empty row. And then here again. And then go up three more sort of thing and so this will be you know this will be a relatively relatively large build I mean by the time you get you go three up that'd be three go back one go up nope go back one you go up three more one two three and if you just keep doing that until you get to the center it's gonna be you know it's gonna be relatively big there one two three maybe one more that might be about halfway so if we go down here and look right that's gonna be eh, it'll be a good size toward him with the clip what's up um, that'll be a good size building when it's all said and done now the question is you know it might not be that tall it might only go to about that one maybe even that one because once you get this wall coming up it's gonna impede on that one also um, so yeah uh, we're gonna we'll, we'll work on it a little bit, but that's that's what that's what one of my builds that I'm gonna be working on, and then I'll have like, what are you doing? Boom! Um, and did I miss him? Uh, I missed him again. I missed that guy. You hear it? You heard it hit the ground? I don't know. That hit him. That did hit him. Okay. Um, and then I'll have lily pads that right like lily pads like that scattered out throughout here, but that will be my walk path to actually get here. And then when I get here. I haven't decided what I'm going to do yet, exactly what I want to do for that. I'm kind of thinking I'm going to have maybe slime sort of thing, slime blocks to launch me up each one. I just think that'd be cool. I, I, like I said, I want to start incorporating slime blocks, and I think that'd be a cool way to incorporate them is on this level, since we're going to have this empty space here on each level, right, that you, you put the, uh, I think, 
think that would work. Right, you put yeah, you put the pressure plates on this one. You walk forward, boom. But I I don't know. There's that whole timing issue with those two that that might not work. Um, so we we'll have to see again. Uh, but anyways, guys, that's gonna go ahead and do it for this episode. Um, I I didn't really get too much done. Uh, did I? No, I didn't. So we're not gonna end this episode yet. We're gonna we're gonna build that. Yeah. You know what, that might actually end up looking out better <laughs> looking better than I think it was going to in my head. But so one thing I'm trying to follow with this with this whole thing is is if you see every piece of slime that as it climbs up, every piece of slime, every piece of moss that climbs up, it it's touching another piece of moss that comes from the bottom. Um I don't want to just like randomly place slime or uh mossy moss stuff places. I want it to be like it flows through the building, so if we were to go up here, right, we can see that this slime that comes from here, or that comes down from up here, it follows itself up there, same here, it comes up, kind of makes the way up here and follows its way up, same here, this follows up. Uh, that one's not quite touching, let's change that, I thought that was touching. Uh, and just it's just, kind of, it's just that same theme, theme as we go along, this one comes from right here, goes up, that one goes right there, goes up, there there i mean it, that i think that's cool i you know touching right there i think it's a kind of a cool theme and the person above me is vacuuming sorry if you guys hear that but uh we so we got a little progress done on this today um got a little bit of thinking about it done and i got work got my gist of it done i think i'm only i decided by looking at the picture kind of uh a little bit um this was way old uh I think I'm only gonna go. I'm gonna go this one, and then I think I'm gonna go one higher, and then I think I'm gonna put like a little decoration thing upstairs, up on the top, like it's a, you know, like an entryway going. Then that would go down into that, and maybe I'll have. Then my enchanting will be in there, uh, so maybe that's what we'll do. Um, so, man, I've been saying um a lot in this video, but anyways, guys, that is gonna do it for today's episode. So, like always, I thank you guys for watching. My name's Cluster. Dream big.